Hey, good morning. This your boy Rob Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Oh uh, yeah, today is September twenty first, uh, Tuesday, uh, two thousand twenty one, and I'm gonna be very brief. I'm waiting on the ride to work, but uh, yeah, I noticed the difference in the way. Now I'm not trying to be divisive or nothing like that. But I just want to point out a fact. Yeah, I noticed the difference in the way that those Haitian immigrants that's over in Del Rio, Texas at the border are being treated as opposed to some of the other immigrants who come here from Central America, uh, Mexico, um, Afghanistan, all these other people come here, man. And if they come here in a mass number, the United States government has some kind of compassion. They will let them on in, put them in detention camps, you know, detain them, and send some of them back to criminals. And the rest of them, they just put throughout the rest of the country, but not these Haitian immigrants. Y'all see them police, I mean, uh, them border agents on, on them horse uh, yesterday, man, hitting them people with them whips and stuff. <laughs> kind of remind you of slavery. And they've been sending eight plane loads of back, back every day. Biden, I think, stopped it last week. But before then, man, they were sending eight plane loads a day of Haitian immigrants back to Haiti. Our country, if anybody should be trying to flee and get automatic amnesty in America, is Haiti. You think about it. They just had their president to get assassinated. You come to find out that the prime minister of Haiti has something to do with that. Then they had this big earthquake. Y'all check that out, man. I got to get ready to go. But it's deep. Notice how they getting that. If it would have been the Mexicans or them Hispanics from South America, man, they'd be in hotel rooms right now. It's our tax money. Y'all be blessed.